Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. I hope everybody is feeling good and all ready to draw because we are doing some anatomy today. And I'm talking about anatomy of the hand and I'm showing the hand in a spider-like uh, motion, something like this. So we'll start with laying the framework and we have one line coming down like this. That is the forearm. We have an oval that'll this will be the, uh, the the palm area and so we're going to draw some spider legs but which are actually fingers in this case so I'm doing one two right around here uh, three Four. So that is the middle finger, index finger, second largest and the smallest finger. And the thumb we have, uh, actually we can go different ways. I'm just going to go like that for now and we'll see how it works out as we move along in this. So I'm going to, since the fingers are in the foreground, we're going to start working on those first. I would recommend very light strokes because again as talented as you are as well versed as you are in putting down uh, anatomy there can always be mistakes variations and to best deal with them and to avoid much wastage of time you can make these strokes very light and even very rough until you get that angle that you're exactly looking for. So right here I believe that we have gone along and put down the fingers. I guess it's uh, fairly acceptable. Again it's a quick sketch so right there is the forearm and we'll just put that we'll get that out of the way so here's our point of focus and that is the hand itself so it just goes like so and right around there so now we have to deal with this area so I would actually go with an oval put this down here somewhat bring it down and put in the thumb like that so I think it it works because the amazing thing about hands is that there's with the slightest slightest tilt with the slightest movement you actually change the look of the anatomy itself so again tricky things tricky and useful things and very fascinating always so we're just going to put down the essentials like there's the skin folds right there the index finger I need to make this a little better so I'm going to do that bring the nail down there and there's our and I'm going to fix this as well make that a little bigger than the index finger and then around here you could just go put in slight like curvature there if you wish to define this a little better but again like hands are different so uh, if it's a more graceful hand it may not necessarily have that much of uh, elaboration in the anatomy so if I were to have a light source like coming down let's say from the top I believe that I would just do a crosshatch and just throw in some shadows 
Now this uh, pose, we do not necessarily find ourselves using this pose. I'm fixing the fingers as we go along, as you see, and I'm, I, I did mention this that as we go, we will find that we will be we could change things, and that is why strokes should be at a minimum. I didn't keep them at an at an uh, optimal stroke because I wanted this to come across on camera as well, but it will work out because I'm going to be putting in some shadows here. tones if you will so what we have ourselves is so the light is course coming from the top so everything pretty much when it comes to the palm is in a sort of a shadow so you could do it in so many different ways depending on the tools that you're using so right here if you see it will stand out a little more in terms of light and dark and we're almost done so that is the general idea of drawing a hand in that position please do subscribe keep in touch thank you for watching have yourself a wonderful day